how to choose a career and what skills are important to survive in this 21st century and main important thing is what are the errors i should not do while choosing the career so these kind of confusions you have so in this 21st century what skills how to choose a career which career has to go this kind of questions are repetitive from your side and you are also asking asking some questions related to i am confused about some careers so how to make this decision even i know information about some careers but i am confused i know this is quite a, a normal for your age but before i go into the actual session i'll just explain give a brief about where i am from i'm sudhir i'm the head career counselor of amrita vishwavidyapeetam so i know all of you might have heard or not heard our university recently we launched asia's biggest hospital in faridabad so if you are from north you would have, uh, you, you would have saw that thing so narendra modi ji inaugurated that hospital in faridabad and uh, we have currently eight campuses spread across five states and uh, our main predominant course is engineering and we try to inculcate more value based education in the students and what it is is whatever you have learned today through your academics through your experience you should be able to use it for the benefit of society okay these are some of our rankings we are ranked as fifth best university and accredited as a++ and recognized as institute of eminence by ugc okay under the divine guidance of shri mata amritanand mani devi ji we call her amma she is our chancellor and we are uh, uh, spread across as i told uh, to five states okay and we are also collaborated with lot of foreign universities for your for uh, regular student exchange programs or other program this is so these are some of the courses we offer engineering arts and engineering and humanities management allied healthcare medicine and sciences almost 20000 plus students are currently undergoing various programs in our university these are the campuses that we have and some projects which we do in rural area is one of our flagship programs where we can give you how to do experiential learning and all you can get to know more about it and also in our uh, web pages also these are some of our international collaborations where you can do student exchange programs for btech this is the eligibility above 60% is mandatory you should write either our exam or je okay so <clears throat> first question which you need to understand is you are asking me about today what kind of careers has huge scope i mean this was a uh, this was a repetitive question i observed almost 10 to 15 people ask this question which career has huge scope in science which career has, career has huge scope in healthcare like when you people are asking about the scope of each career i'll tell you today the scopes of each career is integrated with the technology that we are using for example the technology like ai okay can be integrated with all the domains today either it's in healthcare or either it's in uh, it's in medical side or either it's in journalism either it's in finance so ai artificial intelligence is one of the prominent domain where you can get into and you can do any career in term in, in 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 that perspective okay so i'll say one such career that is booming and upcoming in the coming days is artificial intelligence and first thing what you need to do is three simple steps there are other steps also which i will be telling you three simple steps to choose a career first thing is understand your passion and understand the trends understand your abilities and skills how to do it also i will tell you so i'll give a small example before i explain the proper plan to choose a career lot of you are confused in this perspective first and foremost thing you need to do is have a clear mindset do not get inclined towards a particular career what do what do i mean by not inclining towards a particular career some of you are like if i do engineering only i'll have a good career if i do medicine only i'll have a good career that is not the way to think okay career college doesn't make you successful your hard work your dedication your skills will make you successful your success doesn't depend on a college name doesn't depend on a course name please understand that okay there are successful people in 
each and every course each and every course take any course okay there are successful people in that course any domain people are successful in hotel management people are successful in fashion design people are successful in music industry people are successful in journalism every career there will be successful people it depends on them not on the course name okay and four simple steps as i told you which help you make a proper career decision first thing is knowing about yourself what exactly knowing about yourself is understanding your interests what do you like what is your favorite subject actually you know in school we will be having a favorite subject where if we are reading that subject we won't feel the burden we won't feel the effort and understand the values what do i mean by values for example you value earning money or money to job to after your academics there is nothing wrong in that you value work and home life balance that means you work only 8 hours per day uh, rest you can forget what what happened in night uh, in office okay or you value helping others that means there are jobs where you will be working but payment will not be high but you will be getting the satisfaction of helping others okay what is that you value there are jobs like that there are jobs where you can have two days per week a holiday a weekend and only five days you can work okay there are jobs where in ngos or csr organizations where will be a volunteer kind of a job not paying pay, pay high but will be helping others okay there are jobs where it will give you more money but you need to be working 24 by 7 sometimes so that's what you need to understand first what you value in life lot of students does this mistake while planning for a career is they will only ask one question what course to choose sir what what kind of degree i need to do first thing is have a proper ambition what is your ambition today do you want to become a doctor do you want to become a software engineer for the what you need to do plan it backwards it's not like just taking a course now and reaching your end point first plan your end goal what is that end goal and plan it backwards so that now what you need to do to reach that end goal that is the thing you need to do knowing about yourself is the first and foremost step you need to do while choosing a career second thing is exploring the possibilities okay i'll just ask one question to all of you if you have chat enabled just type in the chat box okay so while while i am talking i might ask some questions to all of you so please type in the chat box see exploring the possibilities means i hope all of you do shopping right all of you do shopping if you are doing shopping if your parents gave you 4000 rupees to purchase a dress you will go to the shop or a mall and you will purchase the dress like based on your interest first you will ask them show me the model for this price show me the material for this price what kind of fashion trends it, it has you want straight away go to the shop and just give him 4000 whatever size is available uh, for you please give it you won't do that that kind of talking right first of all you will go to that shop find out what fits you find out what is fashionable what is trendy find out which material is last then only you will purchase okay nobody in this world purchase a dress like just give me for, uh, for this price whatever size that is that fits me nobody does dress maximum you will be wearing it for one year or two years okay career is for life for purchasing a dress people spend half a day going to a mall or one day some people even browse online for dresses for weeks and weeks to purchase one top or one dress or one frock okay so for dress you will explore that can that many things career is for life how much exploration you require okay you need to explore a lot explore all the possibilities that are available in front of you then only narrowing it down that is the third step making a proper choice setting a goal develop a plan if you don't have plan it's hard to reach your 
goal plan will help you understand the problems you'll be facing plan will help you address the barriers that is what you need to do first thing first understand know explore your possibilities third one making a proper choice set a goal for yourself yourself the fourth and final step which is the most important step of this all making it happen lot of students plan everything properly they will do they will decide on a career they will decide i need to crack this exam to, to get into that career and all but when the time comes they will get distracted easily and they will put all these things aside and they will get disturbed easily they won't even work hard they won't put this plan into action making this happen without distraction i know lots of problems lots of distractions are there for you today okay but you need to overcome them you need to make it happen if you are really determined to have a proper career these four steps if you choose a career based on these four steps it's easily i can say you will achieve success for sure every person today who is making a career decision should follow these four steps knowing about yourself exploring the possibilities making the choice and making it happen this is the first important thing so what i have told you is the step is understanding yourself through a psychometric test so i have a psychometric test or a career guidance test pre career guidance test which i will share with you in this session itself you can note it down after this uh, webinar is over you go take the test at your home find out your skills find out your strengths for that which career suits you also you can understand okay there are some skills that required to survive in today's life okay today's workforce today's corporate world doesn't require marks it require skills for example the so called innovation the so called billion dollar companies that we see today like ola uber zomato swiggy are solving a problem you should be curious about the world you should understand okay if you are a, if you are a student you should visualize the application that is there using the science in the, in our real world lots of applications we can see in a, in our real life the science application you need to understand should be good the team work skills i will give you some 21st century skills list some 12 skills that are very much important ap apart from your academics what are these 21st century skills why you need to have a basic understanding about these skills because you know there was a time i used to uh, uh, i used to just talk about the skills like reading writing if you are good at reading if you are good, good at writing you will get a job easily but in this 21st century modern day workforce require different set of skills it's not about academics it's not about good reading good handwriting or good uh, orating and all there are some skills that are very much important for you to survive in this 21st century skill what are those skills are critical thinking creativity collaboration communication information literacy media literacy technology literacy flexibility leadership initiative productivity and coaching skills all these skills are very much important the first four are four c's critical creativity collaboration communication these are called four c's which are called learning skills okay with this you can learn a lot of things the next three literacy skills information literacy media literacy technology literacy these are the literacy skills that can give you more knowledge about what's happening around you what kind of technology is 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 being used in various career today each and every career is integrated with technology either you are a fashion designer it's happening designing is happening in a computer or you are a architect i today designing is happening in a computer you are a banker okay banking is happening in an excel in a computer every career today is related with technology so you should have minimum digital and data literacy 
that is why it is important and also information literacy why information literacy is important today lots and lots of information is there on the internet we don't know what you need to follow what kind of information is true what can kind of some information is false lots of deep fakes lots of rumors lots of propaganda are there available uh, in, in our internet so we should have a reliable source to follow to get our news to get our updates properly you can't just see a youtube video and say there will be fourth lockdown i mean lockdown coming and uh, there are more co uh, covid cases that are coming up youtube videos you don't know they are not reliable if it is from a reliable source can it can, can follow it fine okay and the next five are leadership leadership skills okay so these are the most important skills which you need to understand okay these are some of the most repetitive questions that's why i have made a small slide to make you understand about these things now please note down this test link it's called www.mychoicemyfuture.com/amrita it's a free career guidance test to help you clear all your doubts once you have taken down this and raise your hand i will start with the questions which you have uh, asked me in an excel sheet i think i'll open the sheet and i will start answering one by one all the questions you have asked please take down this web link www.mychoicemyfuture.com/amrita this is a free career guidance test you can take it at any point of time in your home using a smartphone or a computer okay now i'll just start with the questions that you have asked the first question is one student asked about i'm good at i think the student name is redima i'm good at writing and speaking i'm opting for humanities as a stream okay your question is humanities as a stream could you please recommend some good career options if you are getting into humanities there are lots of good salaries and there are lots of duties which you can do in humanities option you can become an editor you can become a multimedia specialist you can become a digital marketing person you can become a lawyer also in humanities hospitality professional social worker graphic designer travel agent teacher technical writer but if you really want to get into professions that involve writing so what you need to do is you can get into either journalism or you can get into technical write, writing there are lots of content marketing managers are also there in humanities so these three careers either you can get, you can become a, a any language teacher if you are good at reading and writing or either you can become a content writer or content marketing manager or art director these are some of the some of the courses for students who are interested in doing humanities okay and the uh, second question is i have doubt that which course i should opt for hotel management and uh, which one has the highest scope see you can't compare hotel management and fashion design both are uncomparable why because both are different uh, uh, sectors you can't uh, say uh, which which i can pursue fashion design or hotel management so the decision highly depends upon the kind of work that you are willing to do after the completion of the course both are different works see fashion designing is like you will be working on designing some clothes or jewelry or some merchandise and all but hotel management is completely di uh, different where it, it it will be like you are hospitalizing with people that means you will be providing food for them and the cleanliness hotel business hosting people so lots of other activities which are related to host, uh, hotel management okay so both are different sectors there are courses you can pursue arts and there are hotel management courses after 12th also which you can pursue so you should decide which is better for you so it's it's not me i can say i'll say both are good for example i'll tell you an example one of my friend uh, took a hotel management course after 12th so i told him why you are pursuing hotel management it's waste of time but you know currently he is the manager is one of the uh, one of the most uh, popular hotel brands that is taj i think uh, um, uh, some of you heard about that hotel hotel brands it's taj hotel so 
he's the manager and he's staying in australia in taj hotel and he's having a different lifestyle so that's what i'm saying course doesn't make you successful it's you can make yourself successful it all depends on you if you are passionate about it it's easy to do okay it's easy to achieve success if you are not passionate if somebody forced you to do it or you are taking that course just because some your friend is taking or your relative is taking that course it, it, you you can't see any success until unless you are not passionate about it you won't achieve any success and the next question is is it compulsory to study maths for psychology i say maths uh, psychology is predominantly a social science uh, uh, branch it's not compulsory uh, required to have but there are some uge degrees in psychology where it requires math but if if it's a branch of social science i would say mathematics as your subject in 12th curriculum might not be required to pursue psychology so psychology is is kind of a neutral career where you can pursue irrespective of having maths or not having maths okay so that's my answer i'm confused that if i follow my passion it will be too risky i won't be you don't have any question so that is what you need to decide i just have explained you uh, that pursuing your passion only uh, will make you successful okay how can it be risky any career which you are pers- uh, um, which you are pers- pursuing with passion of course if you don't have the financial background it will be a risky so what you need to do is find out a scholarship oriented thing work hard see for example if you are interested in a course like uh, engineering okay in engineering there are colleges that offer 100% scholarship also okay you need to find out that course so that if the burden won't be there on your parent good scholarships are there i'll tell you the scholarships also going forward some student asked that question which what career is most suitable for future which career is best for future what opportunities we would we get if we work see there is not a particular career that is there for the future uh, um, future which i can say which is in the best it is dependent on you what is best for you is dependent on your capabilities on your on on your determination and all why because today there are courses that are booming for example careers like artificial intelligence data analysis data scientists and cyber security professionals and uh, uh, this drone technology people and the aerospace people. so there are careers that are booming which is having huge scope in the next 10 to 15 years so these are some of the careers which i have mentioned but you might be preparing for jobs that are not yet created also okay so that's what you need to understand next question is how can we pass 10th class so this is a question which you need to ask your teacher so passing is not should not be your aim if you are just aiming to pass then you should not pursue higher academics why because any student today who is aiming to have a good career to pass a grade should not be your aim to get more marks in that class to get more marks in that subject should be your aim if you are just aiming to pass this is this is not the right way to think this is not the right place to be today everybody is having good scores either it's in 10th or either it's in plus 2 if you are not having just good scores if you are just hoping to pass it will affect your higher academics okay don't aim to just pass i won't even answer that how can we pass this is the question you should ask your teachers how can i pass if you are very weak first thing i'll suggest if you are weak in some subjects get professional guidance learn from tutors i mean go to tuitions and all based on that you improve your subjects and you get good grades don't just aim to pass in some courses and all next course is what are the scopes for pure science research in india how can you study english literature english uh, literature okay see uh, most science students feels i mean some some of you will be thinking i chose pcm can i pursue literature now and all yes you can do it you can do masters in literature there is nothing wrong literature is something if you have heart for the language you can pursue it no matter what what kind of degree you have 
okay but the kind of research which you ask that is happening in pure science is huge okay in terms of biotechnology in terms of paramedical or in terms of chemistry in terms of uh, uh, biology huge research is going on and we are in our country healthcare industry is one of the most prominent industry which creates 5 lakh jobs per year okay so you need to understand the uh, uh, amount of research that happens we are a developing country and we require huge hospitality and healthcare systems you know the, uh, the recent the things which we saw in uh, our covid times is the ventilator shortage now the research is going on to minimize the cost to make those ventilators and you, there are lots of diseases that that we faced in the last couple of years and there is research to going on to develop more uh, uh, vaccinations to reduce that more medicine to reduce that so in healthcare in pure sciences huge research is going on day to day genome synthesis sun powered chemistry and you you have a long list of research that's happening in each and every segment there is a huge scope if you are interested in that pure science research and the literature you can pursue what whenever you you want and the next question is about entrepreneurship it's a good question uh, like so if you really want to know how to uh, uh, become an an uh, entrepreneur so it's by first doing a ug degree uh, why you see lot of uh, entrepreneurs from uh, premier institutes i mean you might be hearing from iit there is a company coming from iim there is a company like was from pre premier institute there will there will be good startups coming uh, coming up there are huge entrepreneurs coming up the main difference is people think entrepreneur becoming a, a entrepreneur is dependent on self but it's wrong becoming an entrepreneur is dependent on team not the idea if you have a proper idea with that you require proper team people invest on team not on ideas i might be having lots of brilliant ideas lots of brilliant business ideas but i need to have a team to work for that business idea for example i have a product idea like amazon or a flipkart all these companies started with a core team it's not about one person there might be a ceo but there is a core team who worked on that idea made it happen okay that is what you need to understand so to become an entrepreneur it's not about the idea it's about the team and main thing is the reason why most uh, companies come from this premier institutions they get a good team reason because when you are in a premier institute already there are uh, you know, there are your friends who are from all uh, all over the country who cracked an exam and are good people who can be a like minded person to become an entrepreneur like you and there are good resources that every college today every higher uh, institute engineering institute gives you an opportunity to set up a company to give a start starting funds also good come all the iits provide that starting funds if you are really having an interesting idea and interesting business plan okay so it's not that easy to become an entrepreneur and it's a 24 by 7 job you need to work very hard and uh, i think i have answered the next question before choosing any career must know his ability and inclination how it can be understood for this i think i have given you a test mcmf test so my choice my teacher like dot uh, com slash amrita you take this test it will help you understand what are your skills what are your strengths and based on that you can choose a career what field do i need to study in order to become good in genes today genetic engineering is one thing if you want to know more about gene technology so it it's like what kind of work uh, people in genetic engineering does is it's like removing or adding dna and uh, they call this as genetic modification or manipulation or it controls the living being genes using biotechnology or arranging them into different forms or coming up with uh, different forms of cells different forms of qualities and uh, you can you can cross the species and all so there is potentially lots of things we can do based on this genetic engineering so people who want to pursue this 
genetic in engineering there are two ways which they can pursue uh, there is a genetic engineering course btech course which is available in i some of the iits also you need to crack je to do it or uh, i mean or you can pursue amrita entrance exam also or you can pursue srm like there is good engineering uh, entrance exams are there where you can pursue this genetic engineering so i suggest you pursue engineering course only if you are really interested in uh, genetic engineering why because it gives you more hands on uh, approach than other things so then other courses might be more theoretical engineering might give you more practical approach okay and the next question is what will be the best scholarship for science students and how to apply for scholarship see scholarships today are there in each and every college you need to understand that every private college for example amrita offers uh, uh, the institute which i am working offers uh, amrita institute in office 85% of seats under scholarship and entirely merit based so first you need to understand this is different types of scholarship merit based scholarship means based scholarship merit come means based talent based sports based okay over studies um, overseas studies so lots of scholarships that are available even government scholarship like 12th pass students uh, with uh, above 85% there is uh, for for only delhi ncr region swami dayanand college scholarship or prime minister scholarship scheme is there for armed professionals so different types of merit based these are merit based things and even private companies like lnt or or uh, siemens so private companies also give merit based scholarships also like dhirubhai ambani scholarship program I, i don't know how many of you have heard about it or national talent search examination lots of uh, companies private big companies like tata birla company um, gp birla education foundation a star u abdul kalam technology innovation huge scholarships are there in terms of merit means based in the sense if you are a, a, from a minority background that is also there uh, in terms of scholarship what you need to do is go to a, a scholarship we- website of our uh, government of india so you will be finding lot more information in that regard lots of private companies also offer huge scholarship for merit you can apply for that okay so i'll go to the next question uh, should we choose a career which has higher money or the career in which our passion lies yeah i think i have answered this question already you need to understand your value because you want to earn more money or you want to have a balanced full life so it depends on you okay if you want money you can pursue that career if you want there is nothing wrong in aiming to get more money okay and if you want more balance uh, or if you want more exciting work not to get bored and all so choose what your passion tells who to tell us how can we turn our weakness into our strengths and use them to stand out in the next all it requires lot of effort turning your weakness into strength is not a small thing because i feel a uh, uh, lot of students will stop themselves from asking a question this is the most repeated thing every student asks how can i ask a question i feel shy among others you start developing asking trivial questions also okay no need to worry first think about others i mean stop thinking about others what they think what they feel they'll make fun of me if something is doing good for your life for your academics you should not think about others let them think what worse will happen let them laugh what worse will happen okay nobody is proper or perfect in world everybody does mistakes everybody will learn from their mistakes only if you are not doing mistakes it's hard to learn new things people learn things people get experience by the mistakes they do in life okay how do i set an aim in life your aim in life should be your ambition what you want to become after 10 years what how do you see yourself you see again sitting in some college or you see sitting yourself Uh, in a research lab you see sitting yourself in a higher position as a director or a ceo so based on that you need to put your aim okay what is more important when you choose a career degree 
i really uh, really like uh, you have a lot of opportunities to get a job job see the more important thing when you are choosing a career or a call uh, or a college is there are two things you can choose college you can choose a career there are two different things if you are really looking for placements after completing your ug choose a prominent college where placements are mostly given to you or properly planned there if you are really choosing to pursue a course your passion passionate course give pre, uh, give preference to course why because i mean if you are pursuing higher academics it's easy to pursue the same thing in your higher academics also okay so two things which you need to understand which is more important college or career so i say both are important by choosing the career yes पॉलिटिक्स में भी करियर बन सकता है क्या यस करियर इन पॉलिटिक्स इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ग्रोइंग डोमेन इन अवर कंट्री बिकॉज इफ यू आर फैसिनेटेड बाय दिस पॉलिटिक्स एंड हैव पैशन टू डू समथिंग गुड फॉर द कंट्री देन यू कैन चूज अ करियर इन पॉलिटिक्स नॉट एवरीबॉडी कैन से आई वांट टू गेट इनटू पॉलिटिक्स एंड ऑल सम पीपल हैव बैड आइडिया सम पीपल हैव डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव्स विल बी देयर actually politics is the way that people living in groups make decision in everyday life in terms of the way of governing government making rules laws of governing countries and all you can do it but you require good communication skills you require you require you require to have a good political scenarios understanding what exactly is happening around you, you should have an understanding and team working skills a great leader today is the one who can be a good team member first you need to become a good team member to become a great leader okay enhance your leadership quality and ideas follow good leaders understand their lifestyle so politics require lots of things you can do ba politics bsc political science uh, or or ba uh, bachelor of arts in politics so there are some good good courses even masters are also available and you can pursue in masters like human rights and you can pursue politics and communication you can pursue uh, like international politics lots of different specializations are also there but the main thing which you need to understand is the jobs that you might be getting in any stage might be an intern or a volunteer in a political or a government office which might be a hard task to survive because there are there are lots of things which you need to uh, do or if you become an mla that's a good thing getting into I mean, becoming an mla not only requires just a degree uh, it requires lots of effort from your side uh, about campaign in charity so lot more you need to do okay attending the meeting becoming a leader so okay. politics is kind of a good career to get into but it's very hard also to be a new for yourself okay that is one such career and how do you clear uh, how do you get clear about your interest for choosing a career i think i have answered this question so please take that exam which i have told you to make you understand about your skills and so uh, coaching is necessary to clear competitive uh, exams yes i i i tell you coaching is very much important to clear competitive exams why because coaching can help you take lots of mock exams to prepare for competitive exam you need to have a guided approach not a regular approach it's not mandatory it's necessary that what i will say mandatory but if you are not taking coaching try to do lots of online pre mock tests which can help you okay. uh, how to scope base of your career i have answered this after 12 after 12 what should i do my subject is biology by this subject what should i do become successful in this field see if you are pursuing biology there are career options like first thing you can get in get into mainstream field like a doctor or you can get into paramedical or you can get into allied health sciences or you can get into nursing you can get into ayurveda and all so lots of fields are there or if you are not interested in this mainstream fields or if you want to do a particular course like bsc uh, microbiology bsc biology so these kind of courses are also available where you can become a researcher you can become a teacher all these things are also possible okay can education is only way to make your career see education is the formal way this world accept that you have the basic knowledge to lead a team or to grow yourself in a particular career it is not 
the only way there are people who didn't get a formal education also were proper business magnets and all but the thing is in today's world to showcase your strengths you need a platform education is the one platform which gives you that uh, that base to showcase your strength and all okay is there courses other than engineering and medical degree for sure yes there are lots of courses even if you are interested in technology oriented courses you can pursue bca ba so fashion design and journalism chartered accountancy lots of good courses are there which you can pursue and which you can make a name for yourself every person around me has to think that science and math are the only two ways no uh, there are lots of people who are not from science and math background but achieved success built up big big billion dollar empires also and you need to understand not science and math are the two ways to get successful there are other ways people in arts people in uh, uh, design also made a name for themselves it depends not success doesn't depend on the course name that's what i told you how can i choose my goal when you have a confusion first understand the understand the opportunities make a list and uh, you do a spot analysis so based on that you can clear your confusion now i am pursuing with uh, a pcmb because i have interest in both valve and mod now i am confused follow which stream in the future whatever makes you interested in bi- in biology and math you told you have you have interest in both but what what made you confused in this both so is it because you are get not getting good marks or is it because of the career opportunities that are there so i know you need to make a decision either you can write neat or je like kind of computer exam it should be dependent on you you should choose let go of one course either it's a biology or math based on your comfortability not based on uh, the career opportunities if you are comfortable with math first you math if you are comfortable with biology then first you biology uh, how to choose a career without later regretting i have already answered that uh, how to choose that career without later regretting what are top three career choices there are no top career choices and all there are i can tell you top career domains right now that are booming ai data analyst cyber security so uh, and cryptocurrency are the top domains that are booming these are not top career choices instead of focusing on high paying career how can we develop uh, societies uh, which accept any happy career see it it's entirely dependent on you society will think whatever they want so you can't change the society until unless you are a thought provoking leader like a guru or something so you do whatever uh, gives you satisfaction whatever gives you happiness what are opportunities for professional growth within the subject you are taught in schools there is huge growth that that is the whole thing which you are talking about so whatever you have taught it you, you are getting taught in school will be the proper foundation for your higher academics and is always there a need for coaching of career i already answered that i am interested in public speaking what are some uh, ways which i can get into public speaking so public speaking is a, a good course where you can uh, have Uh, uh lots of opportunity but the thing is uh, these jobs are not into mainstream like public speaking courses that kind of things are not there either if suppose if you are a teacher teachers are the public speakers only they need to speak or if you are a politician or you are a motivation speaker or you are a lawyer or you are a spokesperson speech writer so these are all public speaking courses only but the thing is you need to pursue that these kind of careers if you really want to get into public speaking and all best college to study journalism and uh, career options today uh, india is uh, as i told you one of the fastest growing countries in the world the journalism and media are uh, are, are a huge uh, 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 thing in our country why because of the diversification of our nation we have almost 900 or 1000 plus uh, news television channels i'm not talking about normal one news television channels so all these required journalists 
all these people require content so you you to have a huge scope also to get into this thing there are ba journalism course which you can pursue if you want to do and uh, you can work in media digital media both is possible you can work in the tv industry or you can become your own own journalist also the basic eligibility criteria to become a journalist is you should have more than 55 uh, 50% marks and all you need to have you are uh, really journalist if people doesn't know there are types also in journalism like investigative journalism or website journalism entertainment journalism political journalism so that's how you become a, a journalist and also you can possibly be a journalist or there are diploma courses two year diploma courses are also there to become a journalist the talents of millions of people remains hidden due to lack of exposure what can be done to this talent uh, it's not hidden it's because of the people's ignorance they are hiding if you really want to showcase your talent you need to take a step forward nobody will be giving you any opportunity nobody will be coming and asking you please showcase your talent if you are really interested to make a name for yourself or learn new things you need to come forward you need to showcase your skill you need to grab the opportunity nobody is giving to give any opportunities to all of you and uh, next important question is how to crack je neat and advanced see the best way today to crack je uh, neat and advanced is to uh, bo- both i will answer both uh, uh, neat and uh, je see the best way is to first thing is have a proper understanding about the concept what kind of uh subject you are learning the concepts of physics or chemistry or or the math so first understand them properly and uh, you need to make a proper plan whenever you are studying for this kind of competitive exam your day plan matters your reading plan matters and the exams you write mock exams for this j helps you a lot whenever you are writing more mock exams it will help you understand either it's neat or je the basic plan you need to do is have a reading plan uh, and uh, and have a revision plan and write more mock tests and develop a habit of of evaluating your performances or monitoring your performances weekly have you improved have you cleared your doubts in the concepts that you have learned all these things matter while you while you are preparing for a je or or a neat exam it's easy to crack this exam if you are having good conceptual knowledge both are very easy both competitive exams are very easy if you are good in conceptual knowledge and uh, bsc chemistry somebody is asking what is the scope for bsc chemistry today bachelor of science bsc chemistry is a three year undergraduate course and usually people from science stream are only allowed to do and they will be dealing with different aspects of uh, organic chemistry inorganic chemistry and all so it's it's a very good course to pursue and uh, people in this course um, uh, yeah actually people in this course can, can do lot of research based work also the main eligibility criteria which you need to have is minimum 55% aggregate to pursue higher academics in uh, i mean uh, in bsc there are competitive exams also you can write uh, for bsc chemistry in various uh, institutes uh, that the private institutes or government institutes that are offering and all top colleges are there in a, in our uh, country where you know you netaji subhash chandra bos netaji uh, subhash open university in kolkata nalanda open university and uh, and uttarakhand also gitanjali institute huge universities are there for this bsc uh chemistry and all you can pursue either chemistry or biochemistry or applied chemistry huge co- uh, opportunities and specializations are also there uh, for this course and private universities the fee structure might be a bit higher than the government university for them the criteria will be entrance exam plus some colleges conduct some interviews also but as a person in ke- bsc chemistry you can become a, a analytical chemist or you can get into lab assistant or a chemist or you can get into research oriented or you can become a teacher or you can become a research scientist or a quality control chemist these kind of opportunities will be there with a good uh, paying capability and all 
um one more question is lots of questions are repetitive what career which you should i think i answered yeah how to convince our parents for letting us take youtube as a career how to grow on youtube that's a very good question uh see youtube as a career can be a hobby can can cannot be a mainstream for time being why because to become a mainstream youtuber you need to have a financial background why your parents might not be letting you to do or become a youtuber or uh, uh, other courses main thing you need to understand one thing if you are getting into talent based career for example a talent based career like getting into sports or uh, getting into uh, dance or singing uh, like music industry or becoming an actor all these are talent based on your talent becoming a youtuber also is based on talent okay not everybody even though you became a viral sensation uh, in any reel or something or any video you can't sustain that if you don't have talent maybe one video you might be a one time wonder if you even if you made a viral video also so the thing which you need to understand to sustain uh, in this uh, talent based career is a practice and it doesn't come in a single day the people who are successful in sports for example take the footballers like either uh, messi or ronaldo or take the cricketers like uh, tendulkar or kohli these people have been playing professionally since their teenage i know all of you are in the teenage at the age of 16 or 17 if you are not playing you now in any regional or a national level so at the age of 17 or 16 messi is playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world called barcelona likewise at the age of 70 17 sachin tendulkar is playing for our country against pakistan okay so these people are uh, have dedicated their life completely to pursue that talent to becoming master in to becoming a proper batsman so that's how that's how you make a, a name for yourself in talent this period if you start doing it now it will take more time that's why your parents will oppose you to getting into talent based career because it's a long journey to achieve success and they might not have the time patience and finance to support you so please be sensitive in this if you are really interested in talent based careers like becoming a youtuber and all you try to change it now and try to pursue academic based careers which are easy to achieve other courses and what is the scope of psychology uh, in india yes the scope of psychology is huge and uh, today lots of students i think uh, i recently i heard uh, there are 1.8 crore students uh, writing um, i think plus 2 and 1 crore oh, no no 1.8 crore writing your 10th exams and uh, uh, 1 crore students writing 12 so it's a huge number huge number of people going through lots of problems so where we have less people to address their problem and we require lots of people to counsel them today now lots of uh, schools have uh, came up with the idea of having uh, counseling professionals in their schools also to help the students and all there's a huge scope for psychology in india and in the upcoming years and can i do upsc preparation in abroad yes you can do upsc preparation from wherever you are if you are a citizen of india it's easy to get and go you yes yes so um, one more thing i think most of the questions are uh, uh, repetitive uh, two more questions i think i i'll answer one question i saw is about nda so what is this defense academy and also you see defense academy uh, is very uh, uh, strict lot of people uh, doesn't understand the thing which you need to go through in defense academy and all they offer ug level courses like btech bsc and ba so but to crack that exam is uh, one more hard thing where it will but the options which you have after completing this is you might be joining in indian army air force or navy you can choose based on that and all will get a good internships also after completing this course you will be having a, a good training initial training in this respective institute and based on that only they will be and uh, that is nda 
and defense academy so next question is about uh, which is uh, better uh, acca or ssca which is better see i'll suggest uh, uh, both are good so association of chartered uh, accounts is also uh, good and chartered account and say also good but i will say most of the advantages if you are uh, acc course takes shorter span to complete with regards to ca so that's one advantage you will be having and uh, but in terms of salary salary perspective ca will get more than acca okay so so that, that is uh, a disadvantage also if you are pursuing acca so acca is a globally certified degree where you can go other countries and work also but ca is like an indian uh, tax on me and accounting system okay so that's the thing so i'll say ca is uh, considered to be more harder than acca and uh, the salary of ca is higher than acca so you can decide but uh, if you really willing to pursue both also um, that is also possible but you need to think because ca itself is a hard course to crack so you can decide i'll say ca might have an advantage more than acca so you can think about your wish uh, uh, also how can i sit for aims without qualifying neat it is not at all possible if you are not having any neat score they won't even allow you to sit in sit for neat aims okay and i think uh, i have answered uh, almost all questions what should an adhd kid choose after his higher studies uh, i say adhd is uh, kids can um, pursue more uh, uh, what do you say brainstorming or more uh, leadership oriented kind of thing. like for example uh, they can become a teacher actually uh, the people with uh, adhd can become a teacher or uh, they can get into uh, what we can say uh, the courses like uh, more stimulating jobs because they will get bored of things easily so teacher means every day will be interacting with people or a journalist uh, for example journalist is something which might be rewarding and exciting for adhd people or becoming a chef or a beautician or or some business also or becoming an entrepreneur also so good options are there for adhd also which can make them more interested in this yes i think i have answered almost uh, all the questions i tried to maximum cover all the important things and uh, i hope at least i have shared Uh, right information with all of you and uh, i know one question is there is how to crack uh, uh, upsc so upsc cracking is very hard if you really want to pursue upsc means uh, choose a base ug degree so based on that degree try to give an exam either you can choose the subject which you like okay the subject which you like to write suppose engineering will subject in upsc engineering subjects only if you are reading an art subject you can uh, choose that that arts only uh, yes any uh, i think so uh, okay i'll just share the link i think all of you are asking that link which i have shared about uh, taking this career guidance test www.mychoicemyfuture.com/amrita so this is the test which you need to take to understand more about yourself clear your confusions understand your skills and strengths based on that which career suits you also this test will make you understand it's a free test where you can pursue or write it at any point of time okay it's available on the internet sponsored by our university so you'll get a neat 20 pages report to your registered email id where you can read about yourself that is the first step which i told you to understand and knowing about yourself and thank you everyone i hope i have helped you uh, the uh, in answering this and clearing these questions and if you have any doubts also you can share with ma'am i will help you send a mail with if any unanswered questions are there like that uh, because we have very limited amount of time 
i try to answer and clear all your doubts if any unanswered are there please send it to ma'am uh, through the form and i will be able to help or mail all of you this answers thank you have a nice day and looking forward to meet you soon again through a new talk thank you